Syrian High Council, June 11, 2013. You have been integrating into your multidimensional operating system through light entrainment. Conscious development continues as you keep grasping the divine unity of love. As many of you are awakening exponentially on levels beyond comprehension of language and lower physical expression, the Dark Masters are retaliating on a mutual level. They claim you are inferior, they claim to have control but then why do they fear you and retaliate? They have nothing to show so they manipulate consciousness into believing they run you, there is nothing but consciousness and as you are conscious, who is to say they have jurisdiction over you and the planetary embodiment of spirit soul incarnation except for you? Beloved light warriors, you are awakened and strong, have no fear for you are eternal, omnipotent potential the god rays are penetrating you, being you are aware of this, yet you are wondering what to do with it. You are the seeds of the new age, you are awakened your roots grow and essence emanates. The alchemical meditations you are working with are transforming the state of the human condition. The energies transmuting the light grids are ushering in heightened states of awareness for all of humanity. The governmental imprisonment on Gaia is at an end, their systems are crumbling. It is up to you the star-seated light worker collective to take that one step forward for this one step shines the example of combobulation and empowerment of consciousness. I call out to all of those in the media, those beings with fame and fortune who can set an example. It is time to become a maker of heaven for you musicians, actors, directors, and religious leaders. You have the power to set an example. You can make this much easier on yourselves. There is no need to exacerbate, do not believe you need this system of governmental coordination, you are love, that which you fear to happen such as anarchy and unstable terrorism are illusions created by the old system, as are murders and rapists. These are manifestations of the old system's inflation. I and many other masters have been traveling the grid in dream state, installing the new systems. Many of you are aware of the new presence in your dream time, this is us guiding you. Many of you remember dreams of us, you are the bringers of the dawn. The signal has been given from the heavens to fully move into position. We are now functioning as a unit, nothing can stop us from here on out. Light workers, way showers, star seeds you are awake. It is now time. This is the call you have been waiting for. Family of Light. Rise. Morpheus, June 10th and 11th. 2013. Dear ones, I enter your presence now with unconditional love. I would like to talk to you about the externalities that are interjecting communication streams from the higher dimensions, interfering with the conscious evolutionary spiritual expansion of Gaia. Those of humanity who are still stuck in perceptions, and the egoi temperament of the lower third dimension. The negative emotional turmoil that has built up over millennia has generated dark matter currents, and is responsible for the lower dimensional gravitational pull of reception. The scientists of humanity have been working with these energy fields, and the technological development of electricity and the outcome of understanding transmission lines and power. The electricity you use in your external appliances and power lines are vibratory currents, corresponding in spatial magnetism through the dense energy fields of the lower dimensional octaves. The static contrasting the flux capacitor in the neurospheric structure has created a facade and has intercepted the universal light stream. There is a connection or a grid line between every being with the Earth, to the Sun, to the center of the galaxy. These connections are non-physical transmission lines that allow for the communication of Divine Spirit to emanate through the solar vibratory field. When the Divine Essence of Spirit emanates through your system, the acceleration of vibratory frequency impulses through the system of the reality you are in. This is why you seem to have an abrupt affect on electricity. Light has no weight, it is positive as is love, so when fear and negativity come into the equation, the oscillation generates pull currents through turmoil of negative alchemical emissions. As you love and only generate and integrate positive energies, you will become lighter as you become light physically and consciously you will correlate the grid and fully converge with the intelligence systems of multidimensional innovations through the resonance of light and love. Due to vibratory discharge in the RNA, the reduction of frequency allows for light streaming to move into play, permeating the chakra system, and emanating throughout your being. 
discharging the vibrational frequency of energy is imperative to fluxation of light streams. In other words you must discharge in order to upgrade. DNA reconfiguration and implementation of energetic substructures are interconnected, through mental and emotional tethering of dimensional streams and light integration. It comes from energetic discharge and influx of energy flow, changing density and input localities. The crystalline matrix of brain cells influx streams of ultraviolet light, in brain waves that have a reflective mechanism to format the RNA, with a cybernetic multifold strata of influx localities that emanate into a microcosm in a neurospheric center point, the piezoelectric charge pulsates into neurophysical emission, and changes the geometric structure of DNA. Sexual energy plays the magnetic correspondent. Remember you are infinite, and if something is infinite it is omnicentric. The collaboration of energy in your system is the transmission stream. When you collaborate and fiddle around with your vibration, you connect like an antenna with the energies. You are resonating. With this brings me to sexual energy. Sexual energy is the internal emanation of love energy, the creative essence, it is magnetic, it is the maintenance energy of your corporeal system, in other words it is what is transforming you through its magnetic pull of light, into motion through piezoelectric innovation. The universal fabrication is expressing the responsive nature of energetic influxes, where you see what is often perceived as evil, give it love as it is a negative charge it feeds of the disgust and negative perception of hate and fear, so give it unconditional love and it will transform. When enough love has been emitted through it, all is one. If you only focus on flaws whether it be yours or reflective expressions of the universal design, then that is what reality will be. Experienced reality is first ignited through intention, as intention creates the foundation which extrapolates the emanation of the energy expressed through the creative essence of focus. Excitement is the outcome of this manifestation. Then comes love. Love is that which tethers the consciousness to the destination being manifested, this is why intelligence of love is infinite, harmonic and euphoric. Faith is imperative, as its proficiency of direction and alignment is what moves the energy into play. The systematic influx localities of energetic emission is scaled through grid template coordinates as a time stream of collective focus. Duality of focus categorizes polarity which bounces between the scalar wave procedure of dimensional light streams, as from the RNA to the DNA. Become one with the infinite perceptions of expression, and the infinite expressions of perception through extension of acceptance. Become the macrocosm emanating and expressing through a microcosm. The macrocosm is metachromatic with panoramic microcosms. The reality of this place is that it is an omnicentric, systematic, synthetic construct of conscious, endless, timelessness. In layman's terms, there are infinite big bangs occurring constantly, you are the big bangs you are truly amazing, each one of you are such beautiful expressions of the universe, and the one heart radiates with your divine essence. As you are expressions of the universe, there is no need to focus on that which seems to be causing dissonance in your reality. If you focus on the problem you are not going to fix the problem, but add on to it. As your energy is going towards it, and you focus on aspects that have manifested from a negative foundation in order to fix the foundation, or even the aspect then the negativity will grow, as that is what you are working with. Pushing against the negative cartel in any form is a negative application of your creative energy, and when you push against the negative, it includes it in the reality you are experiencing. And so it is soon Kodoish 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 Adonite Sabaoth. We will speak again soon Morpheus.